okay dear students after making the cash book now we are supposed to make some other books of original entry and in this exercise we need to make a sales journal a purchase journal a return inward journal as well as a return outward journal a journal is also known as a day book now in sales journal we always record all of the sales that are made on credit okay in a purchase journal we record the purchases that are made on credit whenever we buy goods on credit stock goods or inventory we used to record in a purchase journal and whenever we sell goods on credit we used to record it in a sales journal whenever our credit customers return goods to us we are supposed to write it in a return inward journal also known as a sales return journal and whenever we are returning goods to a supplier we are going to write in a return outward journal so these are the basic formats for a purchase and sales and return inward and outward journal respectively we have a date column we have a name of customer or supplier and the actual amount okay so let us see which uh, transaction we need to record first of all we have a purchase journal now you must remember one thing if we are buying something like property or furniture or building these are not supposed to be written in a purchase journal okay if in, in instead in a purchase journal we only record the purchase of goods the purchase of stock uh, anything that we have bought to uh, sell it to someone else okay anything that we have bought for resell we are going to record it in a purchase journal okay so a property is never recorded in a purchase journal instead it will be going to record in a general journal okay also known as the journal okay now as you can see in this question we have bought goods from disuza for 30000 so this would be recorded in a purchase journal so we are going to write the date the name of the supplier disuza and the actual amount that we have bought the goods for okay now after purchase journal we have transaction relating to sale journal now as you can see i uh, have we sold any of the goods on credit now as you can see uh, any transactions that are not uh, through cash or check uh, would be recorded in these four books okay uh, these four books never contain cash or bank transactions instead any transaction that is relating to cash or bank is always recorded in a cash book okay so whenever we are selling goods to customers and the customers uh, uh, have not yet paid for these goods therefore these are going to be recorded in a sales journal okay if there is only one transaction this and if instead there are more than one transaction we'll be keep recording it at the end of the month we are going to total for these all of these four books now do we have any return inward now as you can see we sold the goods to jimmy and some of the goods were defected and jimmy returned goods to us okay if jimmy is returning goods to us this means it is a return inward transaction also known as a sales return transaction we need to write this uh, and one more thing uh, my dear students you must remember that whenever we are selling or buying goods we are always going to deduct trade discount from this okay a trade discount is always being deducted from sales uh, during uh, credit sales or credit purchase or maybe return inward or return outward so if instead there was a 10% uh, maybe trade discount so, so we need to deduct 10% from all of these figures okay now if there is any return uh, outward as well yes as you can see we have returned goods to uh, one of our suppliers disuza worth 5000 so we need to write uh, in this return outward journal also known as purchase return journal so these are four uh, books of original entry